Uh, how you feel about Malcolm X kids? They got a lawsuit against the uh, CIA, FBI, and NYPD accusing them of having something to do with Malcolm X murder. You personally, you think they was behind it? Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, well, first I say good for them for, you know, for not relenting. And even after all of these years, still striving to pursue justice when it comes to um, this particular case. Um, I happen to know for a fact that they were, um, that they definitely had him under surveillance. You know what I mean? They definitely had him under surveillance. Um, ah, I've told this story before, but reason why I know one part of this is because my, my grand uncle, so that would be my grandfather's brother, right? He was the first black officer in the Department of Justice, okay? Was it the Department of Justice or Department of State? One of those two, I think it's Department of State. Um, and Long story short, he was assigned to, like, observe Malcolm X. <laughs> I know, it's fucking crazy. And, you know, to me, it's very shameful. You know, first of all, my mother was adopted, so I had technically never met this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wasn't connected, but we... I. Through doing some tracing, shit, I found out who her father was and all this type of shit. And this is some shit I found out. Uh, <clears throat> so he was down with them. Part of his job was to go to like Malcolm X meetings and take down like license plate numbers and shit like that. And I guess they would run them and see who is fucking with them, you know? Um, and apparently, Apparently, when um, when he left the Nation of Islam, I guess he was sent to like ask him what his intentions were or some shit like that. You know what I mean? And this is the government asking him to do this. Now, there's also a story that my grandfather, my actual grandfather, who was a, a regular police officer um, in Harlem, took Malcolm X down to the precinct in order to try to get his gun permit because they was giving him problems and shit like that uh, on his own. Um, and so, yeah, he, he knew Malcolm X. Him, I guess they both knew him type of shit because they also did like, they did like security for like, I guess, well-known people that would come to Harlem or some shit like that back in the days. Like, you know, they was like security detail for dignitaries and all kind of shit that would come to Harlem. And Malcolm X was one of their people that they had to protect too. But then the other brother also had to surveil. It was, it's a, a crazy fucking story. But, so I say all that to say, I know for a fact they been with surveilling them. You know what I mean? and had a hand in them, what, what's to stop them from, uh, you know, pushing more buttons? And if, they, if they're watching them this closely, I'm sure they stumbled upon whatever plot might have been either organically going on against, that could have been organically going on against them, and then maybe trying to add to that, you know? Um, Maybe I'm hearing that a lot of police was taken off of the the uh, the detail of the uh, Autobahn ballroom for that day or in that surrounding area or some shit like that, you know, so they could be culpable in those type of ways. Um, listen, I don't put nothing past these motherfuckers. Um, and I don't think that they just pulled that out of their ass as far as who they're suing, you know what I mean? I think they have enough um, 
enough things lead to all of those different entities to say that they have some sort of culpability in his in his assassination and i hope if this is true i hope that the truth comes out and if anybody can be prosecuted because we know murder has no statute of limitation if anybody can be prosecuted i hope they will be and and i hope the family real quick I, and if that's the case if they win i hope the family's able to get a settlement from the government that is record breaking <laughs> yeah i only brought them up to say that i know for a fact they was spying on them and they had been spying on them for a long time 